Here's how to create this jump cut follow me effect using the Insta360 X3. Let's go. For this shot, I am using the Best360 clamp and the Best360 selfie stick. Set the X3 to 5.7K, 30 frames per second. Mount the clamp onto the rear tube of the bicycle. Extend the selfie stick by one and a half stems and ride your bicycle for at least two minutes. In the Insta360 app, put yourself in the center and go to trim, then jump cut. Move forward to where you want the first clip to start and add a one second clip. Take a note of the position of your legs, left foot down, right foot up. Move forward to where you want the second clip to start. It needs to match the leg position in the previous clip. Left foot down, right foot up and add a one second clip. Take a note of the leg position again. Move forward to where you want the third clip to start. Match the leg position of the previous clip and add a one second clip. Take a note of the leg position again. Move forward to where you want the fourth clip to start. Match the leg position of the previous clip and add a one second clip. Tap the ticks to confirm. Go to the beginning, zoom in on the timeline and make sure you are in the center of the frame and add a keyframe. Pinch your fingers inwards to zoom out and update the keyframe. Move forward just before the end of the clip. Make sure you are in the center and add a keyframe. Move forward to the start of the second clip. Make sure you are in the center and add a keyframe. Move forward just before the end of the clip. Make sure you are in the center and add a keyframe. Repeat the same process for the last two clips. Add a keyframe at the start and end of each clip, making sure you are in the center of the frame. Export the video from the Insta360 app and that's it.